Hello! This should be a fairly quick video. Um, in the last video, well, not necessarily the last one, I had a look at this guy. This is the uh, Beta FPV Micro ELRS module. Uh, didn't have the opportunity to fly it because it was cold and windy. It's still cold, um, but it's not windy, and more importantly, it's not raining. So I thought, let's try this and see how it goes. I'm going to be flying the Aquila that I have flown before and uh, I haven't really had the opportunity to test out rescue mode, so I want to try that. And the, the basis of like, does the module work okay, is essentially I'm going to put it in 100 milliwatts at 250 hertz because the uh, radio doesn't do 500, and go to a kilometre, and I would expect a fairly full signal. If that's the case, the module would seem to be okay, and that's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, let's try that. So it sat on the floor for about two minutes before it picked up six sats, which is enough for me to fly with, I decided. So I decided to go from there, arm it, and let's go and fly this thing. As I mentioned before, I did want to try out uh, rescue mode just to make sure it was actually working, because although I'd actually did set my return to home, because when I was testing out the Beta FPV little radios, and I had to use it because it fell safe, um, I'd never actually tried it properly, so what I'm going to do first is go beyond 200 meters and then flick my rescue mode switch and then take it back out of rescue mode as long as I decide it's is working okay. I was a little bit nervous here because one of the things, if, if something's not right about rescue mode, if you hit it, it'll just drop and you can see how wet the field is. But this looks pretty good. It goes into rescue, it rises up and it starts coming back at a reasonable speed does some quite odd things that I've not seen rescue mode do before. It's got slowed itself down there, leveled out, but now it should be sort of starting to come down a bit like an X-set missile. So at this point, I flick it back out of rescue mode and get on with my flight. I've got a good sort of kilometer of space here over the adjoining fields, uh, all of which I've got permission to fly on in a private land. So that's all nicely handled. And I'm gonna try and keep it relatively low um, but we've got some trees to clear, so I say low, it's like, you know, under 50 metres, uh, so not super low, but it gives us a nice viewpoint at least. And I uh, have to say, all the time I'm flying this, I'm thinking, oh, I really do not want to crash. This is just going to get buried. We've had nothing but rain and wind over the last few weeks, and so all these fields that are apparently planted now are really waterlogged. I don't know how that's going to do for uh, growing crops. I, I'm not an expert at that, but I know last year, because it was so wet, there were a lot of uh, crops that, that basically didn't grow. They just basically rotted because they were sat in water all that time. But that's the British weather for you, I'm afraid. It, uh, it can be quite grim. Anyway, we're already past a kilometre, and you can see the LQ there at 6, 100. 6 means it's 250 hertz, 100 is the quality of the signal, and it, it hasn't moved it stayed absolutely the same. Now I'm going to do a turn here because that's a public road and I don't want to cross that but we're at 1.42 at our furthest and as we're going back we still don't see even a flicker on that LQ uh, and this pretty much says yeah this uh, this module's working fine it, it's going to do the job. I have to say at this point I've, I've accidentally gone the wrong way. I've <laughs> Somehow I've misplaced those trees here for the other ones so this is in someone's um, horse paddock which I'm going back over because that's that's not part of the, the farm uh, I've got agreement to fly over uh, back into the right field this time and back down to the trees that I thought they were I did notice as well that uh, this little 850 milliamp hour 4S battery is not lasting as long as it did when I tested it uh, during the warmer months it's about 6 degrees Celsius what's that in Fahrenheit I don't know uh, you convert it on the internet it's pretty cold though it's you know I don't want to be out there too long with my hands in the weather but at least it's not windy because that wind chill factor uh, really does screw you up but yeah th th this is lasting like half as long really as as I would expect the battery to last so I'm just coming back towards myself here and you can see the way I'm standing these Moxon antennas they've they, they generally have like 180 degrees of field of view if you like so as soon as you go behind yourself I would expect the signal to drop and you see there we're into the 99 95s on the LQ uh, that's one to bear in mind really if you're going to do a lot behind you Th that said you know we can still go a couple of hundred meters behind us 
without too much problem. And this is kind of why I, you know, I mentioned to BDFPV when they said, "Oh, we've got the one watt module coming out. That's going to be exciting, isn't it?" And it's like, well, yeah. I mean, it's always good to be able to use extra power, but not many people are going to need it. Express LRS actually have a range competition, and if you have a look at the range ranking on their page, I can see that at 10 milliwatts, somebody has got to 10 kilometers using a quad, although it did fail safe at max range. But at 100 milliwatts, um, quads to a long way. You've got wings to like 35 kilometers. So really, uh, why you'd need to go quite that much is beyond me. But anyway, the module works, it's all good. Links are, are down below as before. Hope that little follow-up review has been helpful and got some flight footage out, and I will catch you next one. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing, and if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.